Hello and welcome to a video tutorial all about aspect ratio. I wanted to put together a quick video tutorial about aspect ratio to explain first of all what it is and then secondly what you can do with it in terms of um, when you want to get a, a print uh, printed or if you're preparing an image to be projected on a projected image such as for a uh, competition or so on you want to make sure that you can uh, you're using the correct aspect ratio and you want to get the most out of your image. So first of all, what is aspect ratio? Well, let's explain that uh, to start with by, I'm just going to create an empty blank uh, rectangle here and I'm using GIMP throughout this tutorial. I'm sure you can do the same with Photoshop but um, I'm a bit of a, a GIMP fan so I'm going to use GIMP. Um, so we have a, I'm going to create here an empty rectangle 800 pixels across by 400 pixels high. So we'll do that and you can see here that I have a, an empty white rectangle. It's exactly 800 pixels across, 400 pixels high. So it has an aspect ratio of 2 to 1. So it is, uh, if you like, um, twice as wide as it is high. That's simply all aspect ratio is. It's the ratio of the width to the height. So it could be said here we have an aspect ratio of 800 by 400 or 2 to 1. It really doesn't matter how you say it but it, um, its aspect ratio is basically the ratio of its width to its height. So that's basically what aspect ratio is. So what I'm going to do here is just close that down. Let's go and open an actual photo, an image. Here's one of a, a country road scene. Um, now this particular image was just taken straight out of the camera. Um, it was taken with a, a point and shoot camera and it has a uh, dimensions of 3648 by 2048 so its aspect ratio can be said to be 3648 by 2048 or alternatively you could actually go off and calculate that and get the the 3648 divided by 2048 to give it like a smaller number but it really doesn't matter um, now that's that those dimensions are coming directly from as I said before directly from uh, the, the camera uh, that's the actual sensor size in the camera and different cameras will have different sensors and they have different sensor sizes so the dimensions of the images that come straight out of the cameras vary depending on the type of camera you have okay so if we wanted to make use of aspect ratio here to create a print uh, we could create a selection rectangle and in this case let's select um, say a 7 by 5 aspect ratio so I'm just going to lock the selection rectangle and an aspect ratio of 7 to 5 because I wanted to get a 7 by 5 print. So now when I do that, you can see my selection rectangle, uh, um, no matter how I move it, let's do that again, no matter how I move it, it always retains the same ratio of the width to the height. So if I do that and change and increase the selection so it takes up the whole of the height of the image, you can see there's a bit over here on the left, this area here, and over on the right as well, this whole area in here that, that is not fitting in the selection area. Um, and what we're going to have to do is crop part of that off in order to, to get a print. But at least we, we can choose here what part of the image is going to be cropped. If we were to just take this raw image or this, this image straight out of the camera and take it to a, a place that does a print, um, you know, photographic prints for example, they'd probably just symmetrically crop that uh, so you'll end up with something like something like that, and it may may be okay, but it but it might not be okay. It might be okay for this image, but it might not be okay for for another image. So the best thing to probably do is to basically select the area you want. So in this case, I might say I want something like like that. So you can see even now I've got it so that the both areas that get cropped out on the side are not are not the same, but it's more uh, the print that I want now. So that by cropping it to a particular aspect ratio I can be sure that the image that I want uh, and the one that I actually get are the same. So I've got a selection rectangle here now which is where I want it. I'm just going to crop it to there. There we go. So okay, now I've got a an image which is exactly um, the aspect ratio that I wanted. Now I can do the same thing with a projected image. I'll just do an undo on that to go back to the original, the original image. Here we go. Okay, so now let's let's say I wanted to uh, I, was, I wanted to get a projected image, and I knew the native resolution of the projector that was being used was 1024 to 768. 
So entering that aspect ratio in, I can then um, move that selection rectangle around and it's always going to have an exact uh, aspect ratio of 1024 to 768. And that's basically it, that's basically aspect ratio. Now, of course, uh, in some instances you may want to, uh, for the projected image, you may not want the um, the aspect ratio to be exactly the same, but if you want to take up all of the screen, the only way to guarantee that is if you crop a, crop an image uh, with the aspect ratio of the of uh, the native resolution of the projector. So that's it. If you don't do that, you could end up with something like this. Let me just show you what you get. So if I was to just take that image straight into a projector, I'd probably get something like that, where this area above here would would show up as a black band and this area down here would also be a, a, a black band. Um, that's okay if that's what you want, but I, I think you probably end up uh, with more impact if you were to fill the entire screen by cropping it, something like that. Basically, that's aspect ratio. Thanks for listening.